Hey guys, today we're installing the Natalis retractable shower door. This is the bus life. Okay guys, so today I'm gonna to be installing the Natalis retractable shower door. And this is how it comes in a uh, pretty compact cardboard box. And this includes everything that I need to put a new shower door here. Um, some of you may remember from before that we actually had originally installed a nice swinging glass door, but we found as we were traveling and the bouncing of the bus that it actually was causing the glass to come disconnected from the main channel here. So we took it all down and I actually was at a friend's camper and they had one of these doors there and I was so impressed with it. I had never seen one before and it was like, wow, I would love to give one of those a try. So we ordered it, it's here and today we're gonna install it. Um, we will have the link for this in the video description because if you're doing a bus conversion or maybe you already have a camper or RV and you're looking for a nice compact uh, style shower door, this is a great option. This is the main piece. This is the aluminum canister with the retractable polyester uh, shower screen in it. Um, it also includes two of these shower rails. These go at the top and at the bottom of the shower opening, I will have to cut these down to fit the size of my opening here. And this is the jam that goes on the opposite side of the canister that the door latches into. Also is included is these two plastic clips. And then of course, our instructions of how to do this. They actually make this pretty easy to do. They have a, a two-sided tape that's on here that I just need to peel away and then we will stick the canister to the wall. Now this isn't gonna be the only thing holding it in place. I'm gonna come back after it's all installed and run a bead of silicone around each side to ensure that it's gonna stay there. In my application, I'm gonna actually go right against my wood, right up against my quartz. Um, an application you may have, you may have your shower wall and you might wanna go right against your shower wall. In mine, I'm going right against the wood and my quartz. And this is the bottom that's gonna be sitting against the bottom of my shower pan. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a bead of silicone around this because I just don't want there to be a way that water could get inside this cracked area. And like I said, once we get a bead of silicone on each side, and let that dry, this thing shouldn't go anywhere. So my application is gonna be a little bit more complicated because this wood piece here. Normally you'd attach your jam and you would have your top bar piece cut to this size and then you would just kind of clip it in with the little clips it comes with. I can't do that. So I'm literally gonna have to cut my bar piece to size, move this over clip it in place and then move it over and stick it down if that makes sense but if you don't have anything in your way <laughs> then you can just do it um, the other way 29 and an eighth and then i'm going to deduct a quarter inch the instructions say to measure your opening and then deduct a quarter inch and you want to do that on your top and on the bottom I got 29 inches down here. They say you can have as much as a quarter inch fudging room, so we're good. So I'm just gonna deduct a quarter inch off my top measurement and my bottom measurement. All right guys, so this next step, step is what's gonna be a bit tricky. I'm gonna have to kind of slide this in here into the, into the track, get this piece up, and there's a little piece here that the other end of this clips into, so I'm gonna try to get it in there without this sticking too much. And there we go. One thing they recommend doing is having a level, but the problem is, is we're in a bus conversion that's never level. So I'm just gonna go by my reveal that I have along this edge right here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in place. All right, so let's give this a test just for our top track. And this is gonna clip like that. So the next step is putting in my bottom rail. I wanna do a good job in sealing all this before I put this in. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put a bead of silicone along the bottom here. I don't know if I, yeah, I'm gonna silicone this too. Water always finds a way. I don't want any chance of water getting around this piece. I'm in there, yeah, there we go. And then we're gonna clip this in place. I want that to be down. The last thing I really have to do is just go around the entire perimeter and silicone it all off and then that will also keep it in place but but even these top and bottom rails that we have here is keeping tension on the on the wall pieces so really they shouldn't go anywhere so let's give this door a try All right guys, so just a few reflections on the install of this door. Um, it went in very easy. Only a few pieces to this install. Only two pieces you had to cut, which is the top and bottom rails. Everything seems to be relatively high quality. I mean, we're gonna see as we use it more and more, you know, how, what the longevity of the product is, but it seems nice. Um, I'm going to put the link for this product in the video description and a discount code. So if this is something you're looking for, you can grab that discount code, go on to the link I've provided and you will get a discount on purchasing this product. And they have a number of selections of different heights and, and even color options. I think you can even choose different screen options as well. So yeah, be sure and check it out. Let us know what you think of this door in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.